Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been a while since I've been on, but life has kind of gotten in the way. You may notice that things are kind of stark behind me, and that's because I'm moving on to green pastures. Next time I see you, I'll be at a new shop. Before I go, I wanted to leave you with this. This little guy right here is the Banshee. I made this in Tinkercad for you guys, and I made it so that it would kind of stimulate the bullseye. The bullseye tends to dump a lot of air directly under the nozzle, but I didn't want to make the bullseye for myself because there was just so many parts involved, it's just a huge apparatus. There's a lot of adjustment. When I, and I figured, why can't you just make something that bolts on in the original fashion and does something similar? And I think you're going to be happy with the results. Welcome to Voltage 3D. So there is one more thing I wanted to mention here. Whenever you change out a fan or a hot end or a vent like this, you're going to want to tune it. You're going to have to go through what's called PID tuning. I'll leave a link in the description below. I know it's another layer of technical expertise you're going to have to attain to get the perfect system or near perfect system, but that's okay. Everybody has to learn how to do this. And after you do it two or three times, it'd be pretty easy. Here we have some examples of pieces I've made with the Banshee. Uh, we have the 50 millimeter bridge, and which I amped up to a 150 millimeter bridge. Uh, at this height, uh, this length with stock Cura settings, that's the default settings for bridging, it did just fine, did a good job. Now when we amp it up to 150 millimeters with default Cura settings for bridging, there is some fraying at the bottom you can see here. But the top layers are nice and crisp and clean as you can see. And I'm willing to bet some of you guys who are really good at bridging with a little bit of tweaking can get this guy to get you some really good results with this. But this is a pretty darn good baseline, pretty darn good start. This right here is the fan torture test that I've seen on multiple bullseye um, uh, reviews. And it's on par as far as I can tell from their video footage and their pictures. The bridging underneath is fine. The layer height is good and it's good and solid all the way up to about 70 degrees, which is pretty typical for most bullseyes. And then about 80, which is the top, it gets a little bit rough, but it holds up. As you can see too, it's good, clean fun. You know, it came out nicely. Um, so there you have it. With the um, calibration cube, you always have to do one of those. You can see that good, crisp, clean lines, no unusual layer heights or layering, and uh, no elephant's foot either. So it's working out pretty well. I'm willing to bet those of you guys who really like to tweak your systems can have a lot of fun with this. Plus, if you want to modify it, please do. And uh, let's see your results. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping by and checking out the Banshee. I just want to give a special shout out to everybody on Reddit who was so positive and so many nice comments about you know this concept all i did was post a little video of a bridge test and it really had a nice groundswell of support and interest so go over to thingiverse download it give it a shot i hope it works out for you hope it does what you want um in the meantime be sure to hit that subscribe button bell icon thumbs up thumbs down leave a comment down below about the banshee suggestions if you think anything would work better for it or if you have some projects in mind that you'd like to see me attempt i'd love to hear from you guys okay take care for now Bye bye